A few months ago, I visited the great city of Kobe in Japan, in the Kansai area, and I somehow managed to find the little hunky train with all the little characters on them. I don't know what these characters are called, but they're really funny and they're everywhere on the hunky line. The first place I headed to, since it was Sunday, was the Kobe Catholic Church, and I had no expectations really. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than it was, and I was surprised that it was literally the same layout as one of the churches I went to in Tokyo, which was the St. Ignatius Church. They even had the same Jesus statue in the front. I had heard the English speaking community was like pretty big in Kobe, so I was surprised to see that there weren't actually that many people at mass that day, but maybe it was just an off day. And then after mass, I went outside and I was super hungry, so I wanted to get some Kobe beef, but the line was like hours long and I felt like I was wasting my time. So I left and headed to the herb garden, which was only like a 10 to 15 minute walk away. And then I wasn't sure where I was going, so I like went on this little bridge and then I finally found the entrance and I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. And then I saw like the little gondolas and I was like, oh, that's like what you see on YouTube. Even though it looks like there's a lot of people here, there weren't actually that many. And the line goes really, really fast. So you probably only wait like five minutes to get your tickets and then get into the gondola. I only got a ticket for on the way up because I figured I could just hike down and see the view. I had zero expectations going in, so I was kind of shocked at how pretty everything was. And this was during Christmas time, so they had a lot of little Christmas uh, events at the top. But I was kind of pressed for time because I was going to go meet someone later, later, so I didn't really do any of the little activities or get any food. When you go on the gondola, you can see a lot of the big sights at this place, which is like a dam, a waterfall, and then like a greenhouse. And there's a trail going down where you can see everything. Well, actually, you have to choose whether you want to see the dam or the waterfall, and I chose the waterfall path, so I went down that way. You can also see all of Kobe and some of Osaka. This was the top. Uh, they had they have a lot of signs, so if you speak English, you'll be fine. Uh, it was really, really cold this day, and the wind was blowing since Kobe is next to the ocean, and I couldn't really feel my fingers, so it was really, really hard to record, and it was really hard to like interact with all the herb stuff because my hands were just hurting a lot because they were so cold. They have all these little bottles where you can smell every single herb they have available. And then you can buy some of the essential oils, but it's kind of expensive. The cheapest one is like 1,200 yen, I think. And then the rest are like from 3,000 to 8,000. Personally, I don't think that's worth it, but then I went to the hiking trail or at least I attempted to find it and then I just went on the main path instead because the hiking trail looked like it was closed. 
But if you go on the main trail, you can see all the little herb gardens that are around. And I was really surprised that a lot of the plants are still alive. And that's the greenhouse. I wasn't actually expecting the greenhouse to be like super warm, but actually it was like, it felt like summer inside. Ah, the wind, it's so cold. They also have a lot of vegetables around that you can spot. And they have a lot of cute statues scattered everywhere too. Here's the greenhouse. Dun, dun, dun. It's pretty massive once you go in. And even though it's like made out of glass, you can't see everything in the entryway. When I went in, I assumed like this was it and that was all the greenhouse was, but actually the greenhouse goes like very, very far. And there's this little tiny herb museum where you can grind all of the herbs from around the world and smell them. But a lot of the herbs were already grinded up so much that all the scent escaped, so it didn't really smell like anything. Yet, the whole room smelled like curry, so... Yeah. And then this was the in innermost part of the greenhouse. It's very, very warm. And it really feels like you're in the tropical island. And it was so pretty! I was so shocked that they had all of this inside. And I really just wanted to stay here the whole day, but... I knew I couldn't because I needed to get back to the train station. So if you keep walking through the greenhouse, it spits you out to this like herb area where they have actual dried herbs and it's really beautiful. And then you just keep following a path. And then it brings you to this area where you'll start to go down to where the waterfall is. And then my phone started running out of storage at this point, so I could only take pictures. The waterfall was so beautiful in person. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, so I was slightly disappointed, but it was still cool to see. And the trail leads you straight to the Kobe train station, so you can get to where you need to go. But yeah, that was my little trip to Kobe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!